Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at the fastest way to get 15 bookshelves so you can start getting that level 30 goodness on your gear. Let's get into it. This can be a pretty lengthy process in the early game. 15 bookshelves is 90 wooden planks, 45 books which equates to 23 logs, 45 leather, 135 paper which is 135 sugarcane. That's a lot of resources in the early parts of the game. Of course traditionally to get leather you'd go around killing cows and that can get you a fair bit but it's a bit time consuming, not every cow drops leather and they don't spawn all that often once you've killed the main ones around where you first spawn in so that can actually take quite a bit of time. As of 1.16 we can also get leather by killing hoglins but this isn't for everyone as you have to be a bit, bit brave to do this in the early game for sure. And as of the nether update piglin bartering is also a great way of getting leather now. But then there's waiting for sugarcane to grow. You might think that this is a still image, but no, no, this isn't an image. This is an actual video of me waiting for one piece of sugarcane to grow. Just one piece. Come on. What, one piece? Oh, I hate my life. I realise that you can buy whole bookshelves from villager librarians, but my guess is that if you're already getting villager librarians on the go, you're perhaps looking a bit beyond the random level 30 enchantments and more specifically at the books. It seems to me then that you may as well just use the bookshelves that the game has already spawned in for you, and the best place for you to find these as a guarantee is the stronghold. Now this does require that you do a little bit of a speed run, but it's not as intense as a normal speed run, there's way less to do. I reckon for the average Minecraft player this is probably doable on a good seed within half an hour. So let's take it from the top. Being as we need Eyes of Ender to find a stronghold, we need to go to the nether. And so we need to get at least four iron so that we can make a bucket and a flint and steel. But I would say it's better to get five because then you can make a shield and that's going to stop you from getting fireballed to death when you're trying to get blaze rods. Once you've done that, see if you can find yourself a lava pool on the surface. Plains biomes and desert biomes are probably the best for this, but you can always just dig down underground as well. He'll just take you a few more minutes to do so. Once you've done that, you need to make a speedrunner portal. I wouldn't use this video as a tutorial of how to do it, but you can watch and you might get an idea. Once you've done that, it's easy. You just take the water away and into the nether you go. Once you've found a nether fortress, the only thing you've got to do is find the blaze spawner and get yourself at least one blaze rod. You don't have to go for a full seven like you would on a speed run, just one will do, but if you feel like that's not enough, go ahead and get two. It shouldn't take you more than that. The second thing you need is ender pearls, and the best way to get this is definitely still piglin bartering, even though they went and nerfed it. I still think it's the best way, but of course, if you want to do it the old fashioned way, you can just find yourself a warped biome and build yourself a two block high platform and just hack away at some endermen until you get all the pearls that you need. And to be honest, I'd say that's the hard part over. The only thing you need to do now is find the stronghold. So craft yourself some eyes of ender, make sure to throw them in a wide open space so that you don't lose them somewhere. And when you're sure that you've found the right spot, chuck another one just to make sure the eye should go down into the ground. And that's where you're gonna dig down to find the stronghold. And the last part of this process is to find the library in the stronghold. This might take a little bit of hunting around, but there usually is at least one, sometimes even two. So it shouldn't take you too long to find one. Once you're in there, you can just take your pick. You might notice that in the chest there are already a few books and bits of paper, so if you want to preserve the aesthetics of the library, you might be able to scrounge together enough resources to get most of those bookshelves made. But honestly, just mind them. It takes such a tiny amount of time to actually chop down 15 bookshelves, and then you've got the 45 books you need to make your own. That's assuming, of course, that you don't have silk touch on one of your tools. If you do, then you won't even have to bother getting the wood at all. So guys, I hope that's been useful to you. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and you can change your mind if you like. I, I won't hold it against you. Anyway, that's all from me now. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.